Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects before we begin I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest but what I'm going to do is just share with you my own personal opinion and thoughts on the projects discussed on the channel so what we're looking at is the pass project yes that's called the pass project so we get some links you know up here in the description you know but this is a project that has already launched recently so let me go ahead and take you to dex tools you know this is where you can go ahead and find their uh, uh, contract information so uh, we can see that you know they had a really really good spike you know up on the launch and um, they had some cells, you know, obviously, you know, we always want to go ahead and see, you know, cells on a chart. We see, you know, a bigger red candle here in terms of their cell. And we see that, you know, they're basically, they basically consolidated. Right now, they're sitting in a market cap of just over 1.2 million, um, you know, so with some daily, daily volume of over 40,000. Uh, which you know, I think is pretty decent, you know, for a project, you know, just launching. So this is an this is an ETH token. Uh, you know, just want to make you aware of that as well. So they got a white paper. I think the white paper looks pretty good. Um, you know, well done. Uh, it's not a very long white paper. You know, 13 pages. You know, but just kind of scrolling through, um, you can see, you know, kind of what's you know in the white paper. Um, just a very artistic looking kind of white paper. So I really do like. Uh, you know the white paper and uh, so yeah so there's that information uh, so as far as the past product it, project it connects uh, our most nostalgic memories with contemporary blockchain technology so um, so yeah it uh, as far as the project is concerned it gives us some tangible utility and one of the top priorities is to continue to you know build tangible utility for the token ecosystem uh, this is a concept they've they've coined you know with the primary focus you know the tech revolves around user engagement and satisfaction an example of this can be found in the implementation of the play to mint uh, grimology game you know where the utility of minting an nft has been transformed into a tangible nostalgic experience of rolling dice on a board game like we did as children so i like that that play on you know in, in the connection uh, to what we really understand you know from conventional aspect of experiences that we had as a children into you know what's going on here and how they're bridging that into crypto so as a team, we've decided on placing utility innovation as one of our top priorities because we strongly believe the community uh, will be the ones rewarded by the products uh, and results. So in addition to being an independently traded ERC-20 crypto, uh, this token offers current and future governance within the, within the, um, the ecosystem, within the, within the project. So NFTs, PDE, PDM, and transactions within the uh, metaverse. Now, I have not really seen a play to mint functionality uh, before so much um usually it look it could be embedded within a game but you usually don't go ahead and see an intentional focus on it in terms of you know what is documented and what you read in regards to the token you know so um so yeah you just don't always see this actually articulated the way that it is here so so yeah um and they give you the why you know behind the token not going to go through that you know but you do have a team here uh, we see that everybody's, you know, doxxed. Um, however, um, it's interesting that, you know, you get, like, you know, names here, but you don't get them like anyplace else, which I think is kind of weird. Um, you know, so I don't know, maybe my feedback would be just kind of remove those little dashes because it just kind of looks odd to me or incomplete. Uh, you know, not a big right, you know, and uh, it's just something small, but it's just my own personal opinion. So, but yeah, this is their leadership. These are the people associated with their team. Um, you know, so... And obviously the token's already launched, you know, so even though I prefer to go ahead and see, you know, LinkedIn profiles, you know, something that gives me a bit more information in regards to the team uh, on the main website. We don't necessarily get that, you know, with this token, but, you know, that's okay. Because, um, again, it's more of a concern for me, you know, when the project hasn't launched, you know, but when the project's already launched, you know, uh, it just kind of is what it is and becomes just one of those details that's not really a huge deal. You know, but, but, yeah, so aside from that, um, I did want to mention that the white paper link, you know, it's not active, you know, on the website, you know, but you can find it. I believe I found this, um, you know, in their Telegram, you know, but when you, at least, you know, at the time, it's, well, it's about to go and make me a liar out of this, but at the time when I looked at the project, this link was not active, so it's active now. So maybe somebody else pointed that out to them, you know, so, you know, either way, that's okay. It's clearly I had notes in regards to this, you know, before I went ahead and did the video, but, uh, but yeah, it's nice to see that they at least did go ahead and fix that because it was not active at the time that I uh, did take a look at this project. So um, beyond that, I don't have any other content to go ahead and add in regards to this project. This is just me bringing you a project that you may not have been aware of that is a low market cap 
token um, you know hasn't you know been out that long and uh, they it looks like a pretty you know decent token to me you know so and you know what I'll try to do is go ahead and bring you projects that you might not be aware of so guys if you like the content that I'm releasing on the channel by all means please subscribe um, as always I'm going to tell you to go ahead and do your own research you know get into you know their discord because they've got discord um, and I tend to find that discord is a bit more organized than telegram so if you're more of a fan you know telegram that's fine they do have a telegram you know but um, discord is probably where they're going to go ahead and see more of their activity and you'll see a better organizational structure you know for their community because um, typically that's just the difference that you usually see and the reason why you see more and more tokens that are moving over to discord and moving away from telegram so um, I'll leave the links in the description for you and with that said I appreciate you guys for watching you guys enjoy the day